in the lab once again for my nigga, Pimp C. You know, Pimp, we showed the world what it means to you name with the free Pimp C movement. And all the soldiers that represent it, we appreciate you. To my nigga Bun B, that led the ship, you showed what keeping it real is all about. And mama, yeah, I said mama, your son is home out of the slave master system. And we about to act real bad, yeah. And make a bunch of money. Yo, pimp. We've been waiting on this one for a long time. And since the pimp is free, give us some of that ghetto dope process in Port Arthur. Already, man, you know, young pimp. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? It's really going, going down. down. Peace. You know what I'm talking about? Hold up. Yeah. 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 Dedicate to everybody that's been a part of the struggle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hold up. Yeah. Everybody that's got loved ones locked up in their system. Yeah. Say, man, if your people locked up, you need to stay down with your folks. Because yeah. commissary is very necessary. You know what I'm talking about? Young pimp out here represent for y'all. Hold up. I'm back on the slab. Back on the block. Where the hustle be the ever break the frozen water. Rock the boy. Give it him and shining when I step out the door. I thought I had enough of James Dolan. Give me some more. And the same damn day I went to the Bentley lot. Off the showroom floor. I caught the spur. The thing was hot. But I bet all your busters already knew that. Cause I was all on the internet getting my shine back. Making rhymes stack. Pimping with my mic. Everybody want Cause we don't is what they like, they like the pimp kids Shaking shrimp, hip fly like a pimp Yeah, back flow, leg flow, UGK is back Oh, oh Yeah Live from Port Arthur, know what I'm talking about? We over here chilling, PA, where it all started. I'm over here with my partner, Big Smokey Mitch, original UGK, you know what I'm talking about? Me and him was UGK first, back in what year, Mitch? 87, 88, that's when it all started. Doing demos. Well, you know, we was a group way before then, but as far as UGK is concerned, we started that in 87, 88, man. Dangerous Music Incorporated, me and C was a group called Mission Impossible. You know what I'm saying? Uh, started like in 85, 86. So we've been doing this a minute, man. We ain't no poop bus, ain't no, no, no sorry niggas to this, man. You know what I'm saying? Been doing it quite some time. Everybody around us know what they doing. Get down for that. We had a song called Underground King, yeah. right? And uh, one day at school, he showed me the song, right? And he was like, uh, I wrote this song, man. Won't you, you know, won't you write a verse or something? That's how it would work. Maybe I'll write a verse and I'll come to him, man. Won't you write a verse of this? Well, he come to me one day and show me this song on paper. It was called Underground King, right? And he was like, uh, you know, write a verse of this song. And then we was trying to find another name for ourselves because the DMI and the Mission Impossible thing had just faulted. So we had to find out another name. So with the song, I say, well, shit. That's a perfect way to describe us because Underground Kings is exactly what we was. You know what I'm saying? We had our little demo tapes, man, from here, Louisiana, and in other different places, man. We'd be in places just hearing our shit. And I'm like, I called C one night from my mom crib. I said, hey, man. I say, Underground Kings. He say, what? I say, that ought to be our name. And that was it. DMI was, oh man, that was a, a, a mega structure of cats, man. We had people like uh, this cat named Lee Master, Boomer Schooner, Christy Lynn Cool, uh, Daryl Zeno, which his name was Q-Tip. 
before the original Q-Tip. Uh, had DJ DMD was the DJ and one of the producers. Uh, then you had me and C, which, which was Mission Impossible. We was the main group that was putting everything together. Putting all the ideas, C was doing beats, DMD was doing beats. All of us had records, we put everything together, man, and made beats and, and made songs for everybody. I'm making beats, I'm, I'm calling myself producing, but we didn't call it producing, we were just making beats back then. And Bun had a group called, uh, what was it called? Militia. Yeah, the PA Militia with a dude named Jalon Jackson, you know what I'm talking about? And I was really their producer or whatnot. And so we was all kind of working and really Bun was Mitch homeboy at first. He really, we was on two different pages, you know what I'm saying? Mitch was my partner, but Bun was Mitch's partner. And you know, that's how that's how we all come together. And Jalon was my partner. So that's how uh, that's how we all get connected originally. And at, at a certain stage in the game, we combine the two groups together. We combine PA Militia and UGK into one group. And we called ourselves 4 BM, 4 Black Ministers. You know, it sounds crazy now, but it was a crazy time in hip hop, you know. And uh, we was trying to get in where we fit in, and we was really trying to take on other people's characteristics so that we can get in the game and achieve something and really get in there and have a position in this thing. We didn't realize that being ourselves was going to be the ticket back then. So, you know, uh, we put that together, and then at a certain stage, what ended up happening was boys got to graduating from high school. You know, when people start thinking about their future, you know, we had to do what made sense in the long term. So we gave him our blessing, go on and go to school and play ball. He went to Prairie View on the football scholarship. At the same time, Jalon come to us and said, look, this is my last year of high school. I want to show up in this, in this football, try to give me a scholarship for next year. So he went and did his thing. So they really ain't had time for this rap thing no more. Around that time, I think maybe a year earlier, DMD had quit. He said he wasn't gonna do no more rapping. You know, and everybody kind of like, it was kind of like rapping wasn't cool no more. That wasn't a thing to do. You know, so that left me in bun. So we had these demo tapes with all four of us on them. And you know, we was screaming four black ministers, but it wasn't but two of us now. Two black ministers ain't sound too cool. You know, so it was like, damn, well, what we gonna do? So we was like, well, shit. Either call ourselves PA Militia or we can take the old UGK name. Well, UGK won out. So we took the old name back and, and that's how it really went down. That's how we, uh, that's how we got, we got to be who the group that you see now out here on these records for the last 15 years. But this thing go all the way back to, you know, the mid 80s, man. 80, at least 86, you know, at least 86. I'm talking about, I was trying to rap in, in December 83. After I heard Run, I was trying to rap. I couldn't do it, but I was trying. I was determined I was gonna do it, you know. So, uh, you know, at least since 86, we were trying to make demo tapes at first, we put two tape decks together. We record the beat on one tape deck and then bounce that to the other one. And while we bouncing it through the mixer, we run a mic and we'll rap live with it. Think back then, we was in a group called the Hardy Boys. With uh, Boomer Schooner. Tell them who was in that group, Mitch. That was uh, Boomer Schooner, me, where well, I was MQJ at the time, Chad, which was uh, what you know, uh, MCC. And your boy Harley T, which his name was MCT, that made up the Harley Boys. So though know, it's an old school group we had back in the day when we was like in junior high school. Boomer, he shoot mo he, he shoot movies and videos now. He's a video director. And he's doing real good with his uh Boomtown company. You know what I mean? Uh, Mitch is producing now and still rapping, and uh, he's down with the UGK Record family, and we putting it down. He, Got some tracks on these new projects I'm putting out, this new uh, pimpulation and you know.